Woo! Yo, one foot is tough, especially under six foot, gang. Your boy made progress this year, right? Actually, last year with COVID, right before I had my best one foot jump of all time. Translates into. <laughs> Let's go. All right, let me. Yo! Welcome to Dunk Tip Tuesday. Every freaking Tuesday, we're back. One foot jump technique, super pumped. You guys asked. Thank you guys for voting on my poll. Thank you guys for commenting. Really helps me out. I'm excited to share these things. I wish I knew in my dunk journey. Get you flying. And I guess what? Super exciting news. I have a free live training class to jump higher this Saturday. Sign up now. Completely free for any athlete. Excited to see you there. Right before I had my best one foot jump of all time. So that was really exciting because I had chronic knee pain for almost two years, if not over two years, healed that up and was able to jump higher. So there's hope. You got to just stick with it. You never give up. You have to learn about the body. You have to heal the body. You have to get in tune with the body so you know what's causing it and how to strengthen those things. I truly believe you can get to any limit you want to get to. The only limit you have is the one you limit on yourself. I truly believe that it's about finding the solution and not giving up so that way you can overcome them and build healthy habits, healthy body, healthy tendons. If you can build on top of those on the foundation, that's why I'm so big on the foundation, you are limitless. So if you're a one foot jumper, two foot jumper, you can make vertical progress anyway to no limit as long as you stick with it. Let's go. What's up guys? So one foot technique, really tricky. One thing I had to learn for myself, first of all, I had to get over the knee pain. So if you have knee pain, check out my knee pain video, but uh, it's a lot of force on that one leg. That's why it's been really hard for me to increase because as a short dunker, I produce so much force. It's hard to make progress without loading it too much. Because with two foot jumping, what I can do is I can jump so much, which is the, one of the best things you can do for your vertical once you're strong enough. And once, you, once you're in that phase of jumping higher, you have to push yourself to jump higher. But pushing yourself to jump higher off one foot is tricky because if I do it too much to get that stimulus, I overload and I get hurt. So it's, a, it's been a long game, meaning like I have to think really long term, get it super strong, do very little jumps. And slowly but surely, once it's strong enough, it can handle those jumps, I could add more force to it, but I have to make sure it's crazy strong enough. And again, for me, it's not my focus. My focus is the two foot jumping. So that's why my one foot doesn't really make that much progress because I'm, I'm more focused on the two foot jumping, but two foot jumping is still putting load on that one foot, even though it's my less dominant leg off right, left, it's hard to, it's hard to do two things at once. So, but into the technique we go. So. Yo, almost forgot the comment of the week, the winner of the free jump program. Let's hit the random comment generator right now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Simon Lee writes my favorite two words. Let's go! Free program for you or sure, we'll figure it out. Let's go, leave a comment for you to win this week's comment raffle. Let's go! So with the one foot technique, one thing I've noticed for myself is when I got rusty off it, I was really trying to load up like I was off two feet, because off two feet I run and get like super low, but it's not the same type of feel. For me, there's different types of jumpers. I'm more of a speed jumper off one. So a quick mindset was that I would just go for the rim and stop thinking about trying to jump my highs and just run fast and jump naturally. So I would just run and just take off and get the rim easy. And your boys got a little bit of bounce today. Not happy with, I'm happy with that. So this rim's super tough. It's legit 10, but I don't feel that bounce here. It's not like, Sometimes you just don't feel that it's cold, whatever. Excuses, eliminate them. Anyway, with the one foot technique, why that speed jump helps me is for these keys, is because when I do keep my body upright, when I go speed, I'm not trying to load, I'm doing it naturally. And natural is good if you have the right rhythm and your body kind of knows, but luckily I do. But this is what I'm doing right when I mean natural, is when I come at the rim, I'm taking a big step, but I'm not trying to like, emphasize this one. This one, my back leg, is just as much force as the left leg. So I'm pushing and I'm taking off quick, quick knee drive, keeping my chest up and I'm not slowing down. So a lot of times when I was trying to really load that force, I was running and then I was like trying to load up so much that I was slowing myself down. So by speeding up and, do, and trying to just think lighter, it feels like I'm not lowering as much, but I'm just lowering at a more efficient way. So another really big key that I learned with my one foot is that when you run, you run like this, and off two foot, it's really easy to get that arm swing rhythm. 
but for one foot, I had to learn it. And it's really awkward, but you want both arms to come back to use that arm swing because there's no ball in your hand, you can do that. If you have the ball in your hand, you could bring it to your opposite hip and drive it through. Point is, you want that arm swing. You want to get that arm swing with your one foot. So when you're just going for the rim, just try to think of when you do your penultimate, bring both arms back as you step through, right? So it's gonna feel, it might feel awkward at first, but once you get that rhythm down, it's that one arm stays back. So you're running, and then instead of this arm coming forward, it goes back again, and you drive up. Just drive up with that knee up. So one quick drill that I do for that is, is I just stand close to the rim, and you just take off, and you only do the arm swing. So you're not trying to go like this and then switch. You just come here, boom, and jump for it. Again, hard to get high because you have very little speed, but you want to focus on each piece and then all the pieces build together. So try that out. And then when it comes to one foot jumping, do both legs as well. You want to stay balanced and work on that technique. And uh, when it comes to the penultimate step, you do want a long penultimate. So you just want to push off, but that push off will make you lower. So you don't have to stomp into this takeoff leg. This penultimate will naturally lower you because the, the more you spread your legs, the lower you get. <laughs> so, um, so do that just naturally and eyes up the whole time and just think speed and we'll see if I can get a better jump this time see if I get like a full hand on the rim again my one foot's not that high it's probably like 35 inches 36 let's see I'm trying to get that 40 club with the one foot so stay tuned here we go rhythm beautiful just beautiful what I really focused on early too is when I went for the takeoff I always want to like take off full speed but you rhythm you have enough speed by the time you get there. So be slow. I don't want to say slow, be controlled, be methodical. The speed will come. If you're like me, I need to slow down my speed. I'm always trying to add a lot of speed. Other people may need to add speed. So figure out what you are. That's why it's really hard to give advice because some people are attacking too slow. Some people are attacking too fast. There is an optimal speed for everybody and everybody's different. So not only are you on different sides of the spectrum trying to meet at the optimal speed, but everybody's optimal speed is different too. So learn your body type. If you're like me, this is why I give my advice, what works for me. And I try to give you the, the mindset of how to find what works for you. Yo, your boy's coming out with a live coaching community. Please join, there's a free class coming soon. I'm so excited, it's been a long time coming. You guys, I hope to see you there working with me so we can do these things, work on your technique, work on your craft. If you're interested in getting your vertical up, working with me directly, I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for Love and Dunk Tip Tuesday. We're doing it every freaking Tuesday and it's feeling great. Let me know what you wanna see next week. I hope to see you there. Let's live, live better, jump higher. Let's go, what's the deal, hello? Don't forget, free class this Saturday. Sign up totally free for any athlete that wants to get their vertical up. Let's go!